Congratulations, Alex Hall, you are the 35th best prospect in the SSS rankings. A hot start hasn't quite distinguished himself from all the other Winston-Salem outfielders, but hey, at least he's keeping up. Call grabbed 40 percent 25 of 63 ballots. Next up is huge left side of infield project. Southside Sox top White Sox prospects for 2018 Aloy Jimenez 70%, Kapech 16%, Robert 11%, Hansen 2%, Cease 1%, Michael Kapech 75%, Robert 18%, Hansen 4%, Cease 2%, Dunning 1%, Luis Robert 63%, Hansen 24%, Cease 8%, Dunning 4%, Collins 1%, Alec Hansen 64%, Cease 25%, Dunning 6%, Berger 2%, Collins 2%, Dylan Cease 7%. Dunning 21%, Rutherford 4%, Berger 3%, Collins 2%, Dane Dunning 68%, Birdie 14%, Collins 7%, Berger 6%, Rutherford 5%, Zach Birdie 39%, Collins 30%, Rutherford 17%, Berger 14%, Sheets 1%, 3 jump from consensus, Jake Berger 29%, Rutherford 26%, Adams, Collins 21%, Sheets 3%, minus 1 fall from consensus, Blake Rutherford 31%, Collins 26%, Adolfo 20%, Adams 19%, Sheets 4%, Micker Adolfo 39%, Collins 25%, Adams 22%, Clark and 8%, Sheets 6%, to jump from consensus, Luis Alexander Basabe 47%, Collins 26%, Adams 16%, Sheets 6%, Clark and 5%, 4 jump from consensus, Zach Collins 46%, Adams 22%, Clark and 17%, Sheets 14%, Puckett 2%, Minus 4 fall from consensus, Spencer Adams, 38%, Clark and 29%, Sheets 19%, Gonzalez 8%, Puckett 6%, 1 jump from consensus, Ian Clark and 47%, Sheets 25%, Gonzalez 15%, Puckett 7%, Stevens 6%, 1 jump from consensus, Gavin Sheets 45%, Gonzalez 21%, Cordell 14%, Stevens 11%, Puckett 9%, minus 3 fall from consensus, Sebi Zavale, 55%, Gonzalez 16%, Cordell 13%, Stevens 10%, Puckett 6%, 4 jump from consensus, Luis Gonzalez 43%, Puckett, Stevens 18%, Cordell 13%, Gillespie 7%, Jordan Stevens 28%, Puckett 26%, Cordell 25%, Vieira 15%, Gillespie 6%, 1 jump from consensus, Ryan Cordell 35%, Puckett 22%, Guerrero 21%, Vieira 17%, Gillespie 6%, Minus one fall from consensus, AJ. Bucket, 39%, Guerrero 25%, Vieira 16%, Gillespie 13%, Skaug 7%, minus 4 fall from consensus, Jordan Guerrero 49%, Vieira 20%, Hensman 15%, Gillespie 9%, Skaug 7%, to jump from consensus, Fiago Vieira 34%, Hensman 21%, Skaug 17%, Irizarry 16%, Gillespie 11%, Lincoln Hensman 43%, Irizarry 20%, Flores 15%, Gillespie be 12%, Skaug 9%, to jump from consensus, Charlie Tilson 40%, Flores 24%, Irizarry 22%, Skaug 12%, Gillespie 3%, 4 jump from consensus, Ian Hamilton 34%, Irizarry 27%, Flores 17%, Skaug 14%, Gillespie 8%, 4 jump from consensus, Yezan Irizarry 30%, Curbelo, Flores 22%, Skaug 17%, Gillespie 9%, Tito Polo 37%, Curbelo 27%, Flores 20%, Skaug 10%, Gillespie 5%, 4 jump from consensus Bernardo Flores 43%, Curbelo 29%, Skaug 14%, Gillespie Mendix 7%, Luis Curbelo 52%, Skaug 19%, Fisher 13%, Mendix 9%, Gillespie 7%, 1 jump from consensus Cade McClure 51%, Skaug 26%, Fisher 13%, Gillespie 
7%, Mendick 3%, Ford Jump from Consensus, Tyler Johnson, 34%, Fisher 24%, Skaug 21%, Mendick 14%, Gillespie 7%, Ford Jump from Consensus, Justin Yurchik, 37%, Fisher 23%, Skaug 20%, Mendick 18%, Gillespie 2%, Ford Jump from Consensus, Evan Skaug 35%, Fisher 29%, Mendick 19%, Gillespie 10%, Mercedes 8%, minus 9, Fall from Consensus, Jamison Fisher, 28%, Danish 26%, Mendek 22%, Mercedes 13%, Gillespie 11%, minus 2 fall from consensus, Alex, Paul, 40%, Danish, Mendek 21%, Mercedes 11%, Gillespie 8%, Ford jump from consensus. Here are your choices for the 36th round of voting, Tyler Danish, P2018 age, 23-2017 high level, Chicago White Sox overall 2017 stats, all levels, 26 games, 25 starts, black small square 5.47 era black small square 138 and a third IP black small square 47 BB black small square 72 K Danish looked like he had it easy after being drafted in 2013 out of high school by the White Sox. His first full season, in 2014, yielded a 2.65 RF 2.3 BB, 9 and 7.7 K, 9 though the right-hander was just 19 years old. An aggressive but justified promotion to Birmingham in 2015 Danish looked to be another minor speed bump for his first month but the older players at the level figured Danish out and by the end of the season had hung a 5.20 era on him, with an uptick in walks and a fairly significant plunge in case. All was good in 2016, repeating double A, until the White Sox called him directly to the majors, followed by a demotion to Charlotte. Whether or not that screwed him up in some way, last year Danish pitched almost exclusively at Charlotte plus another cup of coffee with the White Sox and got fairly rocked in the Knights' as starting rotation, 5.47 era, 11.4 H9, and just 4.6 K9 over 26 starts. Danish slings the ball using of Jake Peavy-esque three-quarter release, which gives him much different movement on his pitches compared with other hurlers. His fastball has sinking action and can run up to 92 miles per hour. Danish's best secondary pitch is his changeup. Casey Gillespie, 1B 2018 age, 25 2017 high level, Charlotte, AAA, overall 2017 stats, 125 games black small square, 15 HR black small square, 62 RBI black small square, 50 BB black small square, 100 K black small square, 0 0.223, 0 0.297, 0 0.373 The White Sox struck at the right time in grabbing Casey Gillespie, younger brother of steely-eyed former Sox, Connor, in a trade for Dan Jennings in 2017. The first baseman was AA kick track to Tampa's major league roster before the trade, but flagged for Durham AAA in 2017, a performance that carried over to his play at Charlotte with the White Sox, 0 .223, 0 .297, 0 .373 in 125 games. Adding to the challenge of adjusting to AAA pitching was an injury, broken toe. At the higher level, Gillespie's power has tailed off, and without plus offensive ability, his value evaporates. Danny Mendick, if 2018 age, 24-2017 high level, Birmingham, AA, overall 2017 stats, 125 games black small square 10 HR black small square 51 RBI black small square 48 BB black small square 67 K black small square 0 0.256, 0 0.340, 0 0.405 It's been said that, Mendick is rarely the center of attention, but you wouldn't know it based on the amount the infielder has moved through the White Sox system. This is a guy who tasted two games at Charlotte in his first full year as a pro. It was just a tiny spoonful of AAA coffee, yes, but still. That first full year came in 2016, when Mendick switched levels an almost inconceivable eight times during the course of the season. Last year, Mendick flourished at Winston-Salem but struggled to adapt at Birmingham. 
Perhaps the White Sox just need to keep sending his $1,500 monthlies to a different address, to give him his usual, twisted sense of place. Yerman Mercedes, C 2018 age, 25 2017 high level, Bowie, double A, overall 2017 stats, 110 games black small square 16 HR black small square 62 RBI black small square 35 BB black small square 67 K black small square 0 0.276, 0 0.340, 0 0.455 black small square 34% CS with all the hand wringing over possibly losing Jordan Guerrero in the Rule 5 draft last fall, the White Sox snagging this slugger got a bit lost. The White Sox picked the backstop up from the Baltimore Orioles. He got a cup off double-A coffee last year in the Baltimore system, but starts this year at Winston-Salem. Mercedes carries a rep of big bat, small glove, but he did nail 34% of base stealers in 2017. Amato Nunez, 3 BSS 2018 age, 20 2017 high level, Great Falls, rookie, overall 2017 stats, 36 games black small square 1 HR black small square 18 RBI black small square 13 BB black small square 31 K black small square 0 0.193, 0 0.262, 0 0.253 Nunez was signed for nearly a million dollars at age 16, in what was then the second highest bonus ever paid by the White Sox to a Latin American amateur. The infielder skipped the DSL and went right to the AZL in 2015, as a 17-year-old, hitting just .145 with decent walk and K rates. Repeating the AZL in 2016, Nunez took a nice step forward, hitting .287, .320, .370 with 9 steals in 11 attempts. Last year, Nunez was mostly injured, playing in just 34 rookie league games and notching a .493 ops. He doesn't appear to have the range to stick at short, so going forward he will need to develop his hit and power tools to justify a spot at the hot corner. It appears that Nunez will repeat Great Falls in 2018, but assuming he can get closer to his 2016 performance, he'll advance to Kannapolis at the end of the season. 33% 24 votes, 7% 5 votes, 32% 23 votes, 14% 10 votes, 12% 9 votes, 71 votes total vote now.